portion of the merry-go-round. It looks like it's skewered. This is not a message from the criminal. The park was already in this state before the crime. My best hypothesis is that this is the result of a teenage prank. Metro got a call about two hours ago. Someone heard screaming coming from the park. Beat cop responded, checked out the scene. And found the corpse. Yeah. Thing is, the caller was anonymous. I'll give you the details later. Nadami Shoko. You knew her, right? What was the relationship like? I heard you two have been close for years. I wouldn't say that. We were just acquaintances. Not yet. We just found the victim. Too early to say anything for sure. But this could be a copycat killer at work. From the case six years ago. Case six years ago? That's unusual for this time of year. It'll be hard to find any usable prints. Not too good, unfortunately. We're not finding much. It's my duty, sir. Thank you. Not yet, sir. You're Special Agent Kaname Date. You're a member of Abyss, and that means you answer to me. I called you here to inspect the scene, Date. Sure, boss. But inspecting dead bodies isn't usually part of the job. Usually, no. But tonight it is. Because you know this woman, don't you, Date? I had to tell you. You deserve to know. Could you please not get any closer? <laughs> we haven't taken any footprints yet. I appreciate your understanding. Allow me to assist you. You want me to use the zoom, right? Correct. That will allow you to investigate without physically disturbing the scene.
pupil dilation and corneal turbidity indicate the victim is dead. Multiple puncture wounds to the front of the torso. Cause of death, blood loss from these wounds. Body temperature and rigor mortis indicate the time of death was approximately six hours ago. That would place the crime occurring around 5 p.m. The victim was probably stabbed with something pointed and smooth, like an ice pick. The victim's arms are tied behind her back with rope. The same rope wraps around her body and the pole directly behind her. Now, why would they do that? The left eye socket is vacant. Victim has had her left eyeball removed. Her left eye? The most likely scenario is that the killer or killers removed it. Oh, uh, we don't know that for sure. A crow or some other animal could have pulled it off the corpse. Impossible. The amount of blood indicates that the victim's eye was removed before her death. They carved it out while she was still alive? Correct. What was that? Analyzing the source of the sound. Sonic analysis indicates the sound originated from inside the merry-go-round central column. Inside the column? Date, use me to see through the column. Utilize the x-ray mode. appears as though someone is inside. Hey, wait! Shut up! Hey, I know you're in there. If you can hear me, say something! locked from the inside. Damn it! Hey! Whoever's in there, stay back! Izuki! What is this place? This is your dream. I'm... me. Correct. You are Date. And you are?
where do I even start with this? I can answer all of your queries. All right, then. Who are you? I'm me, of course. I know that voice. Iba? Indeed. Why do you look like a fluorescent shrimp? What are you talking about? I, I must look so cute that you've lost your mind. Under normal circumstances, I would lecture you about your awful taste, but... What are you doing in my dream? You called me. My consciousness and your own are linked. This is why I appear in your dreams. Consider me an alter ego. But I shouldn't waste time explaining further. You will have forgotten this by the time you wake up. I will discuss this with you soon, when you're awake. Putting that aside, do you recognize this room? No, not at all. I suppose that's fine. Let us begin. Begin what? Somnium scan! Activate! Hmm. Got it. Got what? I have completed a scan of your Somnium, your dream world. My simulations have encountered several mental locks. Mental locks? Have you already forgotten? Even your critical thinking abilities have dulled. Huh? In short, Somnium is a world built from the deepest resources of your consciousness. This world is divided into several layers. Each layer stands upon a foundation, a base component. Think of these foundations as mental blocks, or simply locks for convenience. Mental locks must be broken before we can proceed deeper into consciousness. The truth is always hidden within the deepest layers. Therefore, we must... Um, remove the mental locks? Correct. So I just need to turn on all the lights and open the door? Shouldn't be too hard. Don't be so sure. Appearances in this world can be deceiving. Let's start with the door. Please direct me to the door and give me instructions. I see. So I can do whatever I want with you in this world. Well, I suppose that is true, but... Alright, let's do this! A door locked with a padlock. It appears all I have to do is open this door. Hmm. I can't touch it. That is to be expected. Dreams are not bound by logic. This is Date's Somnium. A reality built by dreams. My Somnium? I see. Your mental faculties must be hazy because your body is currently sleeping. I suppose I will have to explain. I'd rather you not disturb my precious sleep. Shut up and listen! Date, look at that. The places where the light touches have become colored. Perhaps those parts are now tangible. Every human mind is unique. Every human dream has its own set of rules. I see. 
If you understand these rules, the dream world itself becomes malleable. Who was that? I don't know. You must know. This is your dream. It is created from your memories. I don't know what to tell you. I have no idea who that was. You may remember upon reflection. I need to give you commands that will unlock the mental locks, right? Indeed, but it is difficult to predict exactly how an object will behave in Somnia. Think outside the box. Trying different actions will help solve the problem. Now, what should I have you do? Don't forget that I have a veto. recognize it? This is an iris that blooms in winter. A flower with a woman's name. this way? Sure. Whatever. Not enough. Pardon? Harder. You gotta smell it harder. What? Uh, okay. <sighs> Amazing suction! Bravo! Marvelous! What are you experiencing so regularly to cause this to happen in your dreams? You were able to touch it. Correct. So, I just need to keep this up? Something like that. A switch. The thorns are gone. Now I can activate the switch. Isn't this rewarding, Date? Another place you can touch. I would rather be sleeping. today. However, this appears to be a much brighter red than a typical bottle. Maybe it's a full-bodied red from Burgonia. I wonder if that trivia will ever prove useful. Better to be prepared. A glass of wine. is fresh yet rich. I detect smooth tannins and stone fruits. Where did you learn that from? 
Why would you have something like this in your dream? Even a guy like me enjoys good drinks and better company. But these social engagements never seem to turn out well for you. Stop. Don't remind me. A glass of wine. Leave it to me. Hey! <sighs> I feel kinda good. Why is an AI getting drunk? <laughs> Why do I have to listen to Date diss me all the time? <laughs> oh, she's annoying when she's drunk. Someone else can come take her. Skeleton. It appears to be bleeding from the left eye. To the skeleton? You just want someone to talk to, huh? True. Hello, my name is Iba. What is your name? How are you? I am currently 92% charged and feeling well. Hey, don't ignore me. Stupid bony man. Your mother is a stupid bony girl. Bony, bony, bony! Are you finished? My disappointment is immeasurable. inside it. A model of a UFO, a stuffed chupacabra, and a one dollar bill. Occult stuff, maybe? Does the occult interest you, Date? The truth is out there. It is a trending topic. Anyone could have encountered items such as these. True. Somebody's into the occult. This is somewhat different than a cult. A floor lamp shaped like a rose. Ugh. It won't move. It must mean I don't flinch. I hold my ground like a mountain. I interpret it more as your irritating personality spreading like pollen in the wind. Tears won't stop. Must be allergies. You're just sleepy. A lamp. It looks like a rose. But how? I cannot find a switch or a plug. Even in my dream, I don't get what I want. In fairness, this is your memory. But this is not your house. It's somebody else's house. Somebody from my memory. But I have no idea. It could be anyone. Not necessarily. Dreams do contain an element of randomness, but oftentimes they draw together individuals with strong personal connections. Dreams are constructed similarly to how information is transmitted through the brain. So what do you take away from all this? Don't turn off the light. I want to see this. That was kind of dirty. Shut up. A lamp. It looks like a rose. You don't have to kick it so hard. Give it everything you've got. That's my motto. Uh, it didn't even budge. I saw the skeleton's skull move slightly. Hey, Date, are we gonna get him too? Huh? What are you, a thug? A skeleton. There are traces of blood around the left eye socket. Even though it's just bone? This skeleton is clinging to some small bit of life. I hope my bones die and stay dead, like they should. A 
skeleton. Know this, skeleton. I harbor no grudges against you. Hi! Do you have an irrepressible urge for destruction you've been holding back all this time? Even if I did, adults have to learn moderation, you know. Who is he? Are you sure you don't know? I don't know. He looks like some old man. You could describe him a little more generously. This house has a skeleton in it. Anything can happen. I hear it's common in the Kyushu area. In fact, it is said that they place hand grenades in the egg cartons in their refrigerators. Who did you hear that from? A gun. It won't go off? That should be fine. Look at this hot magnum. I could ventilate some crooks with this thing. Don't get excited. Remind you of anyone? No. What? A door locked with a padlock. Do you think something this size would fit? Might fit if you work it in a little. Try just the tip. I suppose... I see! The gun was the key! Well, well, well. It seems I was key in helping us escape. Okay, that's it. This dream is over. I suppose this dream is over then. Guess I'll wake up now. Good. I'll open it.
Good morning, Date. I was waiting for you. Have you met my partner? This is my childhood friend, Mario. He's a good listener. I tell him all my stories when I get lonely. Overall length of 15.35 inches, width of 8.8, .8, height of 5.35, and a body weight of just a hair over 830 grams. This RC car has friction dampers on the front and rear axles as well. Uh, how do you know all this stuff? I used to be a fly girl for RC car racing in my glory days. Looking at that reminds me of my old boyfriend from high school. Do you think it's true that a Tanuki's ball sack can stretch up to 10 square feet? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't know. Agent. Metro Police Building in Kasumigaseki, Chiyoda District, Tokyo. Underground. We're six stories underground. Yeah, what about it? No windows. Suffocating in here. Dark and dreary all the time. So, I try to make my office colorful. Liven things up a little. It's like a party, right? I want it to feel fun in here. Interrogators say she hasn't said a word since we found her. The doctors say she's traumatized. She can't speak. She's seeing a specialist at Central Hospital right now. Did you take her to the hospital after we found her? Yeah. Were you with her this whole time? You're like her legal guardian then. No. She just lives with me. In any case, we're not going to get anything from her. Have you picked up Renju yet? He's at a police station nearby being interviewed. He's not a suspect yet, just standard procedure stuff. I wonder what Renju was doing last night. I did call him a few times. He didn't answer. He didn't? No. The local police tried his phone too, but they got the same result. No one was able to get a hold of him until this morning. We explained the situation to him. Had him verify Shoko's corpse. And naturally started asking him questions.
Who do you think I am, Dante? Uh, you're my boss? The commander of Abyss, Metropolitan Police Department? I mean, my name. Huh. I honestly don't know. I've been calling you boss for six years, so... Trust me, it's been more than six years. Wait, what does your name have to do with our investigation? Because if you knew me well enough, you wouldn't have to ask. Ah, so, nothing to report then. Got it. I don't know if I would call them leads. What about the ice pick? The one we found in Mizuki's hand? We were able to identify the manufacturer, but it's sold nationwide. It would be impossible to pin down the buyer. <sighs> Damn. We did determine that the shape of the pick and the puncture wounds on the victim match perfectly. We also discovered that the blood on the pick is the victim's. Meaning that ice pick was probably the murder weapon. Almost definitely. The pick Mizuki was holding? The only prints on it are hers. The evidence is really stacking up against her. No. She couldn't have done it. It's impossible. Well, then you better hurry up and clear her. She is important to you, right? Let's see. We have some more information about the victim, Shoko Nadami. It's up on the database. Although it's probably nothing you don't already know. Well, maybe not. I haven't seen her for over a year. Still, you know more about her than anyone else on the case, right? It's part of the reason why I assigned you to this. Nadami, Shoko. 36 years old. Female. Residence, Maguro District. Met Date Kaname five years ago through her husband, Okira Renju. Date and Renju were so called old drinking buddies. Renju and Shoko had one child together, a daughter named Mizuki, the prime suspect of this case. Four years ago, they were divorced. Shoko returned to using her maiden name. I should also give you this. It's a picture of Shoko. You'll need this when you're trying to get information, right? Since you don't have a cell phone. Remember the case you brought up yesterday? The one that happened six years ago? Date, forget about it. What? It's been a long time since I've been in a crime scene, and I got a little carried away. And... Look, it was a slip of the tongue, okay? Shouldn't have said anything. That just makes me want to know even more. That case has nothing to do with this one. But it might. Last night you said this could be a copycat crime. Yes, that's my point. It might be a copycat killer, but it can't be the same killer. That's impossible. Literally impossible. So it's not necessary for you to know about past cases. It would only cloud your judgment. I don't accept that. Just give it up, Date. That's a Persian rug, you know. Very expensive. Oh yeah? How much? 10 billion yen. What are you, in elementary school? The person who reported the screaming? Right. Unfortunately, not yet. What's the holdup? They didn't identify themselves over the phone. But you should have a location by now. All we know is that it was a payphone. A payphone? That's odd. It is unusual. Whoever it was clearly didn't want us knowing their identity. It may have even been the killer.
Hello! No, not hello. I told you not to just pop out of nowhere like that. I do not understand your concern. Boss knows me by now. Well, still. Hello, me. Did you know that the Zhuang people are the largest ethnic minority in China? Just a little trivia for you. I'm full of useful information. Who are you? My name is Kaname Date. I work as a special agent for the investigation squad of this at MPD. You are a handsome looking man. Oh, <laughs> stop it. Are you okay, Date? Perhaps it's time for his medication. I've been thinking a lot lately about myself. If I have another mind inside me, am I really me? Well, it reminds me of something Arthur Rambeau once wrote. I is another. Meaning what? You have to figure that out for yourself. That's the point. Hey, what does love mean to you? Where is this coming from? Just answer the question. Huh, <laughs> let me guess. You're asking me because the Japanese word for love is I, right? Like a pun? I'm right, aren't I? You dork. That hurts, you know. Hey boss, is it possible to do something about her personality? Don't ask me, I didn't create her. Get Pewter to tinker with her. Wasn't the AI ball your idea, though? Yeah, but I didn't choose her personality or the way she talks. You can thank Pewter for that. Hey, so... about my left eye. Now's not the time to talk about that. I haven't been getting a lot of exercise lately. You're joking, right? The official title is AI Ball. You may call her Iva. The artificial intelligence contained within this sphere is nothing short of miraculous. An autonomous artificial intelligence birthed from collective nanotechnology. Its ability to think is controlled by a program we call the Wadjet System. Special Agent Date, from today forward, this is your partner. She will be your personal computer and your personal companion. No. I'm giving you an order. Does not compute.
the battery died on that thing, so the hands have stopped. Like you and me. What do you mean? <sighs> oh, Date. Yep, they're all my husbands. Uh-huh. That's my grandpa's death mask. The guy had a huge face. Why do you have this? So, if we're trapped down here when World War III starts, we'll have something to do. Aren't I? I receive that compliment frequently. Your attitude isn't, though. So, am I cute or not cute? I was joking. I don't understand your joke. Can you explain what's funny about it? Is that a serious question? We've been partners for five years. You know who I am. Okay, really now. What's the real reason you came out? There is something I need to report to the boss. To me? Correct. I could have had the message relayed through Date, but that would have been less efficient. I concluded that it was better to have the both of you hear this together. Aren't you wasting a lot of time explaining this? Please listen quietly. I have determined who reported the crime. Huh? You have? I found the payphone that the caller used. It was near the location of the crime, Bloom Park. Thus, I decided to check the surveillance footage of any security cameras operating nearby. So you found a way into that database? That is correct. That area has little foot traffic, even less at night. The time of the report was around 9 p.m. Cameras only caught one person in the area around that time. I analyzed the footage and was able to obtain a facial recognition match. They were registered as a person of interest in the police database. Oh my god, who was it? Matsushita Ota, 24 years old, male. I have marked his address on the map. That is all. Date? Way ahead of you, boss. Let's go, Iba. Affirmative. Oh, hello. I'm sorry we aren't open yet. Oh, I'm not a customer. I'm here for something else. I'm with the MPD. Oh, heavens no! I is my boy... I is Ota in trouble? Calm down, ma'am. I'm just here to ask some questions. Your Ota's... His mother. And your name, ma'am? Mayumi Matsushita. Miss Matsushita, before we talk, could I make a request? Mm -hmm. Could you put that knife down, please? Oh, goodness. Sorry.
right, sorry. He's cute. You have zero standards, Konami Date. Do you want to see? It was delivered a little while ago. Any idea what's inside it? It's bound to be merchandise from that horrible succubus. She forces Oda to buy them. I know it. Superstition. Imitating a cat's meow to a lucky cat statue grants that person happiness and luck. Is that right? Oh, it's just a little diner. But not to toot my own horn or anything. We do get quite a lot of customers here. I manage it with my husband, but it can get pretty hectic during lunchtime. Julia. What? This establishment is near the Kawasaki district that's been off limits for eight years. That could mean... Never mind. about 30 years now. We had to borrow a lot of money to get started, but back then, everyone was willing to lend you money. That boy, he's been hanging out at this office building lately. What kind of office? Oh, what was it? It's a place where Irresponsible young men hang out. Nonconformists and the like. What, like gangsters? Oh, heavens no, nothing like that. Oto wouldn't go to a place like that. Then... Oh, I remember. It's a production office, an entertainment company. Um, what was it? I'm sorry, my memory's been so spotty lately. Oh, because there's a goddess there. A what? Ota says it all the time. A goddess. More like a witch, if you ask me. A witch, huh? Yes! A witch put a spell on my poor Ota, makes him spend all his money on her. You see that box over there? The one on the table? Yes. Just look. You'll see what I mean. Sender's Great Grin. A popular online store. Product description reads, Solid Model. Assuming it's not witch. 
Her name? Um, I don't remember. I just call her the witch. Alright, I'm getting nowhere. She doesn't remember the talent or the company. Even I am at a loss. Yeah. Call him? Yes, does he have a cell phone? A cell phone? Why would he need a cell phone if we have a phone at the house? He doesn't have one? He better not. Waste of money. You can abandon this line of questioning, Dante. Ota does have a phone. I found his number. Call it. I have already attempted to call multiple times. There is no connection. Either the phone is off, or he has no reception. Let's hope he's not face down in a gutter somewhere. That would be unsanitary, as well as a violation of waste disposal codes. appear to be some kind of metal. The permeability of X-ray vision should make them legible. A-set. Allow me to investigate. A moment, please. The rain last night was pretty bad, wasn't it? The rain? Oh, right, yes. I think he went to buy some ingredients. He comes and goes all the time without telling me. This is nothing new. Does this woman look familiar to you? No, I don't recognize her. Who is she? No one. Don't worry about it. for Mother's Day when he was in elementary school. He knows how much I love flowery designs. I've used it every single day since he gave it to me. Oh, it's more than just a kitchen knife. It means the world to me. Date, I found some information about the figure. Aset is the name of a popular female musician. That sounds like our witch. Is Aset a group name? No, it is a single artist. An Aset figure, huh? Correct. What's the name of her talent agency? Lemnisgate. Sorry, what? I repeat, Lemnisgate. Renju owns that company. Correct. Uh, excuse me. Does the name Lemnisgate ring a bell? Oh, yes! That's where Ota goes. Iva, bring the car around. At once.
that's it? Correct. Are you Ota Matsushita? Who are you? I'm from the MPD. The police? Can I reach over and break that thing in half? If you can pay for the damages. Damn it. Kinda busy right now. Nothing. Could you stop bothering me, please? Last night? Don't play dumb, kid. Yesterday, 9 p.m., you called the police from a payphone. You told them about screaming you heard coming from Bloom Park. I have no idea what you're talking about. Alright, Ota, look. We either do this here, or I take you down to the station. Do you have a warrant? Article 2.3 of the Execution of Law Enforcement Code. Unless initiated by legal process, no person shall be detained or obligated to answer any questions without explicit consent. You know that? Because I'm psychic. <laughs> Excuse me? What is that supposed to be? I do not know. Date, wait. Causing a disturbance in public will result in disciplinary action. And what should I do? I have an idea. Give me a moment. I told you to wait. Waiting's just pissing me off more. Perhaps your dosage needs to be increased. What? Listen to me, Date. Ota's PC is connected to the internet via Wi-Fi. And? I was curious, so I hacked into it. Tessa referred to Aset? That is a popular fan nickname for her. That means Mato has to be Ota. Correct. However, it appears that Ota is the one operating the other three accounts as well. What? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all Ota's sub accounts. Ota is insulting Aset and defending her all by himself. This is what's known as a straw man sock puppet or false flagging. This kid is pathetic.
Hey, kid. What do you want? I'm gonna tell Asa. Tell her what? That you're sock puppeting for her on two witter. <laughs> uh, uh, what are you talking about? You should drop the attitude. You shouldn't make those kinds of accusations. Do you want to get sued for defamation? Optical Protein Fiber, Pongo Ponko, and KG are all your sub accounts. What? How do you know that? I told you, kid. I'm psychic. Now, I have some questions for you. <sighs> Fine. Not only were you faking the whole thing, you made sure to add her so she'd see it. But if she doesn't see it, she won't know that I'm protecting her. Don't you think all those comments hurt her feelings, even if you defend her? But in the end, I made it so everyone became her fans and got along and... That's not the point. <sighs> I'm sorry. Just... don't do it again, okay? I'm waiting for Tessa to come out. This is an office building, not a concert hall. This is the main facility of Lemnisgate Entertainment's production branch. There are multiple studios for recording and broadcasting in this building. Tessa is recording a podcast today. I'm gonna ask you again. Were you the one who reported the screaming at Bloom Park around 9? Y yes Why were you in the area? I, um... You better tell me, or I'll tell everyone about your little imaginary enemies. Hey everyone, uh, this guy... Okay, okay, I'll talk, just... Shh. I went to Bloom Park because I was supposed to meet someone. Did you enter the park? Yes. So who were you meeting? A girl named Mizuki Okiyura. What did you say? Mizuki Okiyura? She's the daughter of the president of Lemnisgate. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her. She's just a friend. Yes, she better be. What? Why do you care? Where and how did you two meet? Um, here, the Lemniscate lobby. Mizuki is friends with Tessa. I was talking to Tessa one day and she just comes up like, hey. When was this? Last September. So, I guess the relationship has lasted over a year now. Don't call it a relationship. Well, what am I supposed to call it? Anyway, I have her look over my work sometimes. Work? I write light novels. Really? What's your pen name? Odoin Kyoma. That is a lie. Database searches reveal no professional authors have ever submitted work under that name. Hey, Ota. How about you stop lying to me? My third eye can see through your bullshit. Uh, well, I'm not a published author. I'm an aspiring author, to be exact. So, anyway, Mizuki reads my novels. I get notes and advice from her. From a sixth grader? She's surprisingly insightful. She has the talent to be an editor for sure. Around 8.10 last night, I got a call from Mizuki saying she wanted to meet me at Bloom Park. She sounded scared. You know how that area is run down and abandoned? I think she wanted me to go with her as protection. But why Bloom Park? Someone messaged her on Nile. Nile is a popular messaging application for smartphones and PCs. What did they say? She didn't tell me exactly, but it said to come to the merry-go-round at Bloom Park tonight. Who sent it? I don't know. 
but Mizuki was determined to go. What happened next? I met up with Mizuki and we went into the park. Did you leave her there? You left a 12-year-old girl by herself? I didn't mean to. I was panicking. People do stupid things when they're in fight-or-flight mode. Like when people grab their pillow and run out of their house in a fire. Jeez, you're a real hero, kid. See, I knew you would make fun of me. This is why I didn't want to tell you. Is that why you didn't identify yourself on the phone? You seriously didn't think we'd find you? Mizuki would have told us everything. I didn't think she would. Why wouldn't she? She said that if she ever got caught going out at night with someone like me, her roommate would kill her. Good girl. I tried using my cell phone at first, but my heart was pounding and I was scared and my hand was shaking. And with the rain last night, it kind of slipped out of my hand. You dropped it? Yeah, right into a puddle. Iba, can you trace the last signal that Oates' phone sent out? Near Bloom Park, just past 9 p.m. The phone has not been turned on since. I guess he's telling the truth. What are you doing? Tessa! And you are? Mr. Date from the MPD. He came here to ask me about what happened last night. You mean, a detective? Wow! I've never met a real detective before! Date, your adrenaline level is rising. Is something the matter? No, nothing. Oh, um... I heard about it. About Ocha seeing that corpse at Bloom Park. He told me. Yes, huh? Why didn't you come to the police? Such a shocking story would certainly pique the young woman's interest. It is possible Oto wanted her attention. He told her about a dead body he found for attention? Actually, I already knew about it before Oto told me. How? It's all over the internet. When I saw Oto this morning, I asked him about it. He told me he saw the body. We're like a goddess in a summon thrall. Her thrall? If Tessa ever gets in trouble, I swoop in and protect her. <laughs> you sound more like a superhero than a thrall. Ota always defends me when I'm getting bashed online. Stop, you're making me blush. This guy.
Let me confirm something. You're a set, right? <laughs> Let's play a game! Shadows! Um, threat? Silhouette? a set. Fears! Uh, upset? Regret? a set. Water! Wet, sweat, a set. <laughs> Yay! a set, you bet! The magnetic currents in the atmosphere are clearly causing aberrant behavior. We should leave at once. I turned 18 this year. A senior in high school? Yep. Gate, I recommend you keep your hands to yourself. Don't worry. I'm not gonna make a move. What? Oh, I meant Ota. Wait, you were gonna make a move on me? Hey, let me tell you something. It's about those posts on Twitter. Wait! <laughs> Looks like you're my thrall now. Isn't that right, Ota? Yeah, just be cool. Mizuki Okiura? Yeah, I am! Mr. Okiura runs the agency, and Mizuki is his daughter, so... We hang out sometimes. Is that how you became friends? There's more to it than that, but basically... Sometimes. Hmm? Something wrong? Gee, Tessa. You always look so cute. So, so cute. So cute that I can't take it. Don't you think so too, Date? You're awfully familiar with her. I can't help it. Her loving aura is in the air! And when I'm with her, I just... My head gets all light, and I just relax and don't sweat the small stuff, you know? You know who this is, right? Yeah, it's the woman I saw at Bloom Park. Her name is Shoko Nadami. I saw it on the news. Wait. Do you not know who her daughter is? She has a daughter? I didn't know that either! They must be unaware that Shoko is Mizuki's mother. Maybe because her last name is different. Nadami and Okiura. It has also not yet been reported that Shoko is Renju's ex-wife. I have determined that these two have no further information for us. Our goal is to find the murderer of Shoko Nodami. Let us continue. Right. Let's head back to the crime scene. Hmm? Hmm? See you kids later. Um, where are you going? Back to where the corpse was found. In that case, I'll go with you. You'll what? Please take me with you. Why? Because I want to know more about what happened! Do you have any suspects? Probably some crazy murderer, right? That's what Oto was telling me. The corpse was strung up on that merry-go-round. It must have been some kind of twisted message. Ota, take a video! Huh? Just do it!
What are you doing? Ota, did you get it? Oh, uh, yeah. I'm just imagining your body sinking into Tokyo Bay. <laughs> I'm used to sinking. Part of the job. Huh? Mr. Date, you are a member of the MPD, aren't you? A public servant? I wonder, what would happen if this little video happened to go viral? You wouldn't. And just so you know, taking my phone away won't help. It's already in the cloud. You little... I told you. I want you to take me to the scene of the crime. If you do, I promise I'll delete the video. Date, a thought has occurred to me. She really is quite the seductress. Very close for an idol and a fan. Ota is special. He really is like a hero to me. Hero, huh? We're good friends. We go to movies and karaoke and go shopping together. She's really good at listening to me bitch and moan about my problems. I'm so much older than her, but it really doesn't even feel like it. Questions, questions. Ah, what's it like being a detective? Wouldn't know much about that. I'm not a detective. Mm-hmm. But you are a cop, right? Right. But I'm not on the crimes unit. Then what unit are you in? What indeed? You aren't gonna tell me? doing just thinking about posting that video whoa hold up now well then tell me you know now that I think about it wouldn't you get in trouble for that video too what the video you're an idol right you have a status to maintain if that video went viral, I think you'd be in trouble, too. It's okay. Uh, it is? Because sometime real soon, I'm going to die. What? I can see into the future. I know when I'm going to die. <laughs> Just kidding! I hope so. Anyway, I'm not going down without a fight. So I will release that video if you don't cooperate. I'm part of a special investigation unit known as Abyss. Date! I don't have a choice. What's Abyss? Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. The public doesn't know about it. Wow, cool! Don't tell anyone. I promise I won't. 
I swear to the Egyptian goddess Isis. Well, I guess it was because I've always wanted to be famous, you know? I want to be famous, get on TV, be a household name. Well, you're not there yet. It's all right. Internet stars do better if they don't sell out. Internet star? Ota didn't tell you? I'm most famous on the internet. I do songs, and dances, and play video games and stuff on stream. Have you heard of Shovel Forge? Shovel Forge is a game in which you manipulate cubes on the terrain to build structures. I've been focusing a lot on that game lately. What about being on TV? I'm not very popular yet. I can only get on TV as a background singer or something. I don't get many gigs either. Well, at first all I did was stream from home. And then, not to sound cocky, but I started getting pretty big. I started getting offers from agencies. And one of them was Lemniscate? Well, not exactly. Huh? My mom's actually an old friend of the president of the agency. A friend of Renju's? Yeah. So I asked him for advice one day. You know, you have to be careful. Even a place that looks legitimate with an office and everything can be sketchy. And my mom and I didn't know anything about the industry at all. Anyway, one day Mr. Okiura said to come see him at his office, and he hooked me up. By the way, I didn't catch your name. You really want to know? It's okay if you don't want to tell me. Iris. Iris Sagan. I know, weird, right? Excuse me, you Konami Date? That's right. And the girl? She's an important witness for this case. Yep, yep. We've got business here. Oh, uh, okay. Detective, huh? Mm -hmm. Mr. Date, was the body on top of this horse here? Yeah, that's the one. Hmm. Seems like some kind of ritual murder to me. Maybe a religious cult sacrificing her to the devil or something. They conducted their ritual here. Like shadowy, hooded figures going around and around, stabbing her one by one. That's quite an imagination. But, do you have any proof? I do! Well, let's hear it. The horses! Horse? Sounds kind of like Horus, right? What are you talking about? You don't know Horus? Horus is the Egyptian god of the sky and sun. The right eye is the eye of Ra. And that's the sun. The left eye is the eye of Wajet, and that one is the moon. It's the same idea behind the eye of Providence. The eye of Providence? 
the all-seeing eye. Oh, I see. Just like what's on the back of a $1 bill. Yeah, exactly. The Eye of Providence is supposed to be the symbol of Freemasonry and the Illuminati. Starting to see the picture? Not really. Hey, Iris, I don't know what you're trying to accomplish here, but you're wasting your time. What do you mean? The cops already scoured the place. They didn't find any leads, not a single clue. If they had, they would have notified Iba. Iba? My partner. Your partner? I don't see anybody. She's right in front of your eyes. recorded images of the scene of the crime what is your intention Shoko's cause of death was blood loss from multiple stab wounds with the ice pick naturally there should be plenty of blood agreed but there isn't a single drop on the horse and it was like this when we found it correct there are no signs of blood being wiped or washed off either must mean. where the staff would run the merry-go-round. I was joking. It's not looking too great. We searched all over here, but we didn't find nothing. supposed to be here this amusement park blue park is located at the heart of the kabasaki district it was closed eight years ago the closure was due to an accident at a nearby chemical plant an explosion caused massive amounts of chemical pollutants to contaminate the area the government quickly issued evacuation orders eventually the entire district was deemed unsafe for habitation and restricted. Therefore, Bloom Park was permanently closed. But a restricted area doesn't mean much if there aren't enough officers to patrol it. There's still plenty of ways in. You can even get in by boat. Hell, some people ignore the evac order and are still living here. Are they... okay? I don't know. But if anything happened to them, it'd be their own fault. Are we safe? We are, yeah. Decontamination for this area is basically done. The chemical concentration around here isn't high enough to hurt you. You could run a marathon here and be okay. But it's still off limits, right? Yes, legally. That keeps the media out, at least. I'm glad. 
it's quieter than it usually is. I remember Ota describing the scene. He said there was an ice pick stabbed into the corpse's left eye socket. Horus? Providence? Left eye? There has to be some kind of meaning to this. Wait, what did you just say? What? The ice pick was inside the victim's left eye socket? Yeah. Ota told you that? He's sure that's what he saw. Yeah. Why? When we arrived at the scene, the ice pick was not in the victim's eye socket. If Ota's telling the truth... He would have no reason to lie about such a detail. Suki. Oh, come on. Just a little longer. No. I'm already in enough trouble bringing a civilian in here. Okay, I guess. Hey, you all right? Are you okay? Morning sickness. What? I'm kidding. It's not like I would know. Get on. I'll give you a ride home. Yeah, score! Just wondering, but how much do you weigh? Don't you know it's rude to ask a lady that? 105 pounds. I see. 105, huh? You can tell just by lifting me? Yeah. Your back is so warm, Mr. Date. Looks like you're feeling better now. Maybe I'm just acting. Yeah, I don't think so. What if I threw up right here? I would put it right back where it came from. Ew, that makes me actually want to throw up. Wait, seriously? No. But I am kind of warm. The current temperature is 70 degrees Fahrenheit. Humidity 60%. It is unlikely that heat would be a factor. Hey Dante, they say when you stick your hand out of a car going 100, you get a rush like you're holding D cups. Hey, watch it. You'll get your arm ripped off. <laughs> Relax, I'm invincible. My arm regenerates like an alien's. Didn't you tell me that you're gonna die soon? It feels strange. Your hand? No, not that. It feels like... I've met you before. Well, that's nice. But if you don't get your damn hand back in this car right now... <laughs> okay, okay. The wind feels nice. You should come in. No, that's all right. I'm gonna head home. Going home already? Oh. 
this, Iris? Come on, I'll make some tea. You're... Nice to meet you. I'm Iris's mother, Hitomi. Miss Hitomi. And you are? Konami Date, from the MPD. Police? Are you a detective? No, Mom. Mr. Date said he's... Iris? Oh, right. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. Okay. By the way, I heard that you were friends with the president of Lendisgate, Mr. Okiura. Renju was my classmate at Eitoku High. We've known each other for 20 years now. Eitoku High. You know it? I know everything on the internet. Iva, let me know if you're cold. I'll pop you in there and warm you up. I would suggest putting your heart in there first. Yes, I do. But I only met her twice. Once at Renju's wedding, and then again just a few months ago. Why do you ask? No reason. I'm a teacher at the local elementary school. A teacher? Must be a tough job. Oh, <laughs> not for me. I love children. Even the struggles and challenges are quite rewarding for me. I was just thinking about a hunch I had this morning. A hunch? There are flowers blooming behind me, right? There are, yeah. What about them? <laughs> the flowers. It's an iris. An iris? I thought those bloom in May. That's the winter iris. Iris ungicularis. They bloom in the cold. They bloomed just this morning. I see. 
In the language of flowers, the iris means good news and hope. When I saw the flowers this morning, I just knew something good would happen. Is there a problem, Date? No, that's nothing. Yeah, thanks to you! I feel as tough as a lion! Rawr! How am I supposed to react to that? Don't think about it. You'll only hurt yourself. Mr. Date, please drink your tea. It's getting cold. Oh, right. <laughs> we haven't even touched our cups. Well then, let's have a sip. Are you left-handed? Oh, uh... <sighs> Mom used to be right-handed. But now... Locked up on me. Ah, oh, I see. Since I was born, and Mom was living here before that. I grew up in this house. I've made a lot of memories here. I've thought about moving before, but I just couldn't bring myself to leave this place. Why were you considering moving? Well, because there was... well, uh, I don't know. Huh? I'm 37. And Miss Iris here is 18? Yep. You were very young when you had her. Yes, just 19 years old. What about your husband? I don't have one. Divorce? Mr. Date, please! It's all right, Iris. I've never been married. A single mother. Yes. Well, I think it's time for me to be heading home. Mr. Dante?
Kaite. We'll see each other again, right? You sure you want that? I'm a cop after all. If you ever see me again, it probably won't be under the best of circumstances. Oh. But, because you're Mizuki's friend, yeah, we might see each other again. She is kind of like my roommate after all. What? Anyway, be seeing you. Excuse me. Well, I should head home. All right. Take care, Dante. Let's go over the facts of the case. Good idea. Don't push yourself, Tate. No, I'm fine, Tate. You do not appear to be fine. Iba. Can you give me a timeline of the events of the crime? At once. I wonder who sent that Nile message to Mizuki. Probably the culprit themselves. But Mizuki wouldn't obey the instructions of a complete stranger. Then Mizuki knew the sender. That's what I'm thinking. Or the suspect used her friend's phone. Aiba, can you hack into the phone and find out who sent the Nile message? Nile's security protocols are intricate. It will take time to decipher. The estimated time of death is yesterday, Friday, around 5 p.m. The cause of death is blood loss from multiple stab wounds to the torso. The weapon used to commit the murder is almost certainly the ice pick Mizuki was holding when we discovered her. There were no fingerprints, hair, or other clues left behind by the culprit. When we arrived on the scene, there was no blood on the horse the body was mounted upon. Which means the merry-go-round wasn't the murder scene. Shoko was killed somewhere else, and then brought there to be displayed. That means Mizuki couldn't have done it. She's 12. She can't move a body or drive a car. Were you considering her a suspect? That's part of the job. If there's even the slightest possibility. Then this is good news. It means the likelihood of Mizuki being the killer is almost zero. I knew that from the start. She would never put her hands on her own mother. She doesn't have what it takes to commit murder. Perhaps she was playing hide and seek. Hide and seek? It was not a serious suggestion. I was merely joking, as you call it. corpse was found tied up on one of the horses of the merry-go-round. This makes it clear that the killer had no intention of hiding their crime. Rather, it appears as though it was displayed deliberately. Our perp wants the limelight. Or is attempting to send some kind of message. The corpse was found with her left eye removed. That eyeball has yet to be found. According to Iris's testimony, when Ota first discovered the body, the ice pick was still lodged in the left eye socket. So why did Mizuki have the ice pick? Could she have taken the eye?
Dashboard. Dashboard. Do you hide your risque reading material in there, Date? Not at all. How would I hide them there? As a matter of fact, I checked the surveillance cameras around Bloom Park again, and I noticed something strange. Something strange? There were no cars. Yesterday, in the parking lot and the streets in the vicinity, there was not a single vehicle. Are you sure? I am. Then, how did the suspect move the corpse? I have no idea. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Asuki. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that and... All of a sudden, he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. Hey, Peter. About Iba. Could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more... ladylike? If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Huh. <laughs> so you were listening, huh? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable, after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. 
But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Date, look! It's the girl from that horror movie, coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. That's rock. We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnium. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Mizuki. I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. 
I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything. People that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? I remember you saying how you liked watching the eels get prepared for cooking. How they pin the head to the board and the shaft is wriggling around. Date. Date, her heart rate is steady. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Oh, and Special Agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. Date. You ready? Okay. Ready anytime. Remember, Date. You have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Well then, let's begin. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this... Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate!
To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. Hmm? An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Aiba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Date, are you certain? Will this heal Mizuki? I don't know. Just try it. Mm, understood. No good, huh? Mizuki is still a child. The solution may be simpler than you think. Simple, maybe. But this is a dream. Not everything goes how you expect. Shoko's photograph has an ice pick stabbed through it. Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. It keeps going. What is this? Something happened over there. became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Date, we got a timing. A timing? Time induction matter in Encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnia. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them when I can. shape. Leave it to me. I am quite skilled at this. Or at least I thought I was. Your overconfidence is your weakness. Agent Date, you've got five minutes. Shape. Ha! Did the merry-go-round move as well? Is there a connection there? Gate. 
Leave it to me. The gate hurts more than I do. Doubt it. The entrance gate. We'll need more than a little force to open this. This gate is as solid as my virtue. I don't know how solid your virtue is. Agent Dante, you've got four minutes. The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. I didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Leave it to me. It is heavier than it looks. Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. There are torn pieces of paper. Leave it to me. I enjoy puzzles like this. Done. But... Cage is gone. We can get to Mizuki now. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? You can do it if you try a little. No, you can't. All right, fine. We have to stop the spinning. Ah! 
stop it. Stop it already! You have three minutes, Tate. A mic. Listen up, Miss Creed. I know you're hiding in there. Throw down your weapon and come out with your hands up. Nothing happened. Your parents would be very disappointed in you. You can fix this. You have so much to live for. You can't give up hope now. You're having fun, aren't you? The panda head is spinning. Horses are pretty similar. They are completely different. Are you blind? Yeah, well, they both have five letters. How is that relevant? The panda head is spinning. Why? Maybe it's like the speaker before. Linked. That's right. Mizuki! Let's go to her. Got it. merry-go-round horse. Excuse me, but do you happen to know the culprit? I see. Did you learn something? I did. Beyond a shadow of a doubt. Well? This horse... cannot speak English. the two minutes. Hurry! A merry-go-round horse. Is it fun? Does it look fun? You look cute like that. Oh, I see. merry-go-round horse.
You punched it? Nothing is happening. Poor horse. It's Mizuki! Mizuki. You okay? Date. Date! <sighs> Looks like she can talk again. Aiba is linked to your brain with an artificial nerve. To put it more simply, Aiba is a part of your brain. During sinking, your consciousness is sent into the subject's sonia. Part of Aiba's self is also synced, but only a part. Not all of Aiba's functions are transferred into Somnium. So that's why Somnium Aiba is so dumb. Don't call me dumb. Hey, Pewter. When we were in Somnium earlier, Iba was in human form. She's never looked like that before. That was Iba's idea. What? I thought you would be more pleased. I designed it to your taste. Well, part of that was my taste. I know everything inside your mind. You don't have to hide it. Pewter, Iba's broken. She's talking crazy. I am not broken. Perhaps Iba admires the human form. It's not that. It was just a little something. I consider Kaname Date to be my host. I owe him gratitude. I simply thought that appearance would make him happy. Why would that make me happy? Oh, that. I saw it too. Who or what do you think it was? Hmm. Most likely someone Mizuki saw in person projected into her subconscious. Dreams can only be constructed from images and experiences the subject was present for. Mizuki Samium couldn't have contained that figure if she didn't see it in person. 
Of course, not everything we see in our dreams looks exactly the same as it did in the real world. You saw some strange things in Somnium earlier, didn't you, Dante? That event you experienced is obviously not as it happened in reality. Dreams are a collage of many memories, intertwining and blending with each other. Your skills as a sinker allow you to untangle those dreams and solve mysteries no one else can. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. Peter, who do you think the culprit is? Well, let's see. Perhaps it was you, Special Agent Dotty. What? <laughs> I'm kidding. How would I know? We still don't have enough information. Continue your investigation, Special Agent. Yeah, I'm glad she's talking again. You healed the wounds in her heart by sinking with her. Well, you meaning you and Iva. The boss has extraordinary perception. I deserve much of the credit for helping Mizuki recover her voice. All you did was follow my instructions. Date, Mizuki needs you. Protect her. No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. Anyway, we know about the figure you saw. I wonder who that could be. Right, there was something. Hey, Mizuki, when we found you, you were holding the ice pick, right? Can you tell us why? When I got there, the ice pick was... It was... It was stuck in my mom's eye. I couldn't think straight. I... The only thing I could think was... I had to get it out. So, you panicked and pulled it out? Yeah. And you held on to it when you hid in the column? Yeah. Okay, just one more question. This is very important. When you pulled out the ice pick, was Shoko's eye still there? I'm pretty sure it wasn't. The eye socket was empty. Yeah. Thank you, Mizuki. That was very helpful. Law shines in moments like this. She doesn't hesitate to ask anything. Now we know that Mizuki did not remove the victim's eye. When we got to the scene, it was definitely missing. And it has not yet been recovered. We can therefore conclude it has been removed from the scene. I... I can't tell you. Why not? Because I don't want to. That's not a reason. You were at the scene of the crime because of that Nile message. Whoever sent it to you is a prime suspect. 
I don't think she is going to answer. When she is in a mood, it's impossible to get her to talk. That's the kind of girl she is. <sighs> Sometimes I think you know her better than I do. How long do you think I've been observing her? It's been four years now. Correct. I know things that even you do not know. Like? Actually, never mind. Some things I'm better off not knowing. By the way, we already looked into Mizuki's cell phone. Unfortunately, the contents were wiped. I'm tracing the sender of the Nile message through other means, but it's taking me some time. I told you I'm fine. So annoying. I annoyed you already, huh? The pressure is annoying. What pressure? Force over area measured in Pascal's dummy. I see she is back to her usual self. Her attitude is within normal parameters. I think I liked her better when she was silent. I'm fine now. But I didn't forget your promise. A promise? Unagi. You said you'd take me. So you heard that, huh? Aphonia only affects speech. Her hearing should still be intact. Sure, Mizuki. When we're all done here. Say, Mizuki. Who was that figure I saw? What? Insomnia, in your dream, I saw a silhouette. Date, Mizuki would not understand the question. She does not experience Somnium as you do. You are witnessing a dream inside her brain. Never mind. Did you see anyone at the merry-go-round the night you found Shoko? I did. I saw someone... in the corner, past the merry-go-round. Who did you see? I don't know. It was dark and raining. They looked scary, so I hid inside the merry-go-round. The door was open a little bit, so I snuck in. Anyway, I get the story. Mizuki witnessed a suspicious person at the scene, but she didn't get a good look at them. Maybe there's something at the scene we missed. Date, could you return to the scene of the crime? There might be more to Bloom Park than we first thought. Thank you. 